Right, now if we go where that little copse is, that takes us down the other side of um, Old Foxen House. It's a track. And of course if I carried on the track that those people were coming along earlier, I would have come out up here. Um, but it doesn't matter because it's handy to explore it all. This is my theory. It would be nice to end, I just thought it would be nice to end the walk by going past the mansion. That's what I thought. And uh, all these woods here belong to, or did belong to Old Fox and House, you see. Um, it's part of their grounds and a big deer population is usually around here as well and um, yeah so we're going to try that we're going to see I know it looks like we're going back on ourselves it's because I changed tracks I, I cut across if you remember I cut across because I mean I had to get my bearings. I had to see where um, Holford Glen was, for example. But by doing that, by going off track, by wandering a bit, what happens is you get to know an area um, better than just following guidelines all the time. You you get the feel for it. And I can remember, I think I was with Georgia when we walked. I think we went up. It might come on, it might be a different video, I'm not sure. It went off then, the power didn't go off completely. I, yeah, I would have, if I hadn't cut across, I would have come down that path there. I got a feeling me and Georgia might have gone up that one. And we had to keep going up and up and up, I remember. And I was quite tired by then because we'd already done a lot. And I've got a feeling we go in, we enter these woods when we get round the side here. We, we don't go past them, but somehow we go down into these woods. There's a path. That's the idea. And it's worth exploring. And of course, if we carried on round this track, we come back, we end up back up there where we were earlier. So it, all the paths sort of link up in a way. Yeah, it's very difficult to get a shake-free camera when you're holding it in your hand. Plus you're holding other things. And it's a bumpy track. To keep it still, I think it would probably would have to be on your head. Like the, um, what's it called? Mountain bikers wear. But I don't want it uh, too trimmed and neat. You know, this is supposed to be makes it more real that I'm actually walking this. Yeah, there's a big sign down here. Yeah, I, I mean, basically I would have been here a lot earlier if I carried on following that track, but I don't mind. Actually, you know, because to me it's all exploring. Those big crowd of people have emerged from the wood here. There's the track down there. And they would have followed that track up round. Which takes you to the trick point, really. And if you got all these ants, bloody hell, there's hundreds of them, scale out of the way. Ant attack. Flying ants, hundreds of them. Ooh. That shows there's a storm coming. A massive load of ants back there. Oh, bloody hell, let's make sure I've got none in the air. 
They were red ants, red flying ants. Well, this is just to give you a bit of an idea anyway. It does annoy me when people are so critical. Not many, I've only I've had very few people complain at my work. Now here you've got fire beaters that they put out, look. So, yes, here we go, look. Staple Plain, this is called. Staple Plain, West Quantock's Head. Now when I was with Georgia, we went up that way. But if you go up round that way, it takes you to the trig point and you can curve back round to go down Holford Glen. And we're going, we're not going that way either, we're going down through there. I've got a feeling that's the way we came up, not that way. That takes you around the wood again. So I'm going, I'm going, we're going down there in a minute. Right, turn it off for a minute, I'll take some pictures. Before I leave.